So, you need to come on my beat, folks, okay? Do we all know this piece? Yeah, yeah, we do. Let's just see if we can establish some contact. Close your copies. Copies closed. No temptation. Here we go. Just watch me. One, two, and... Much better, well done, good. Okay, now I want you to observe a couple of things, folks. First of all, so loved the world. We've got to feel the third beat of that bar where we've got the dotted crotchet on the second beat. So loved the world. Even though we don't sing anything on that third beat, we need to place our quaver just after it. Now, what we'll be doing is just working a little bit with this opening phrase to do the following things. First of all, to get better vowel sounds, okay? I want you to think of the word God. I want you to think of God as a tall God. God, okay? Loved, I want you to think of the, 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 the whole world, the globe that he loved. Loved, okay? And think of it here, loved. World. I want you to think of, did you, do any of you watch those terrible Australian soaps? No. Don't. Watch the New Zealand ones, they're much, much better. <laughs> and on them you will hear, if someone was to say world, it will be world. World. Say that for me. World. world. With no R in it, okay? When we sing that word, I want you to think of the world, actually. Think of the southern hemisphere. World. Just put on a Kiwi accent at that very moment, okay? Can we say those, that opening phrase? Just say it with me. God so loved the world. And Kiwis, you're all Kiwis, right to the, to the, the final LD. Yes? World? World. Excellent. Now we sing it like that. So think of those vowels. One, two, and... Good, and, and it's not a, a Kiwi German world, world, it's world. Remember the, the, the quality of the D. The next thing that you must do is keep the meaning in the rests. The rests are part of the music. So when you observe those rests, it's not a chance to sort of readjust your clothing, blow your nose, have a fag. Things go on. World, God. So when you breathe in, breathe in on the next word. Okay, breathe in on the God. Okay, but don't go on holiday. Once more. No, no, I don't feel you're quite with me at the bottom of the beat there. That's it. Very, very good. That's what we're after. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in the opening section. Yes, working with the colour of the vowels, the meaning of the text. Very, very good work. So we'll do a little bit at the end of the B section, as it were. Let's just sing that little moment first of all. One, two, breath. What we're going to be talking about here is intonation, okay? Because you can hear it's just lost almost a quarter tone there. So this is a moment which is always problematic in this piece. How do we keep the pitch good? And what we're going to do first of all is check those F sharps. So altos, oh, sorry, tenors and sopranos. You've got these repeated F sharps. They've got to be supported. So think about the quality of that breath. Think about these muscles that you've been exercising in the warm-ups and how they can help you here. Feel them come up underneath the sound as you repeat those F sharps. Tenors and sopranos. Good breath now. One, two, and. Yes, actually, my dears, I should have said, if the rhythm is dodgy, the intonation will also suffer as well. So if you don't take my speed, and if it drags like that, then the pitch might drag down as well. So let's just feel the crotchet pulse. 
one, two, bread. And then when you come down to that final F sharp, tenors, you're going to have to pitch it up a little bit more back to where you were. And sopranos, really feel the support as you come down there. And finally, this word savored, you know, you want to be saved. Yes? So can you feel, again, that inner smile when you sing the word savored? At the moment, it sounds like, oh, well, if you must, yes, I'll be saved, if you insist. Okay, but really, I've got better things to do. Saved. You really, and this is quite a nice idea, isn't it? Once again, okay? And just that inner smile on that word saved. But that's the world. Here we go. Now, really breathe with me, please. Ready? Two, and. That's very, very much better. It's still a little bit behind the beat, though, isn't it? Can you feel it slightly soggy? Can we just um, get a little bit further forward on the chairs and just feel the body a little bit more elevated? It's just sounding too... Uh, it's sounding too comfortable. OK, so just feel slightly airborne. Once more, please. No, no, it's not my speed. It's not my speed. Two, and... Very much better. Watch me for the D tenors, won't you? And it will be a D, not a savid, but a savid vocalised. Thank you. And then the altos and the basses have these marvellous, I think they're intense, aren't they? And we just need to enjoy the rather separated sweetness of these tenths. Let's take that. One, two, three. Yes, they're reluctant salvationists as well, aren't they? <laughs> say, say, say. Really, let's see it in the eyes there. Everyone together, but that's the... One, two, three. Good. Now can we sing that piano, okay, but with, again, that sense of inner life and that sense of savoured, that inner smile there. So once again, folks, but piano this time. One, two. God. We won't be going on, don't worry. <laughs> the last thing we will do is at the end, We'll do a little bit on everlasting, everlasting life. Bar 62, folks. Bar 62. Two, three, one. Thank you very much. Um, but then can I go from that very moment, everyone? God, bar 68. And be rhythmic here. One, two, three. Thank you very much. Last three bars. Let's just see if we can get a pianissimo where all you hear is the sound of the people around you, but not yourself. Okay? Last three bars. Ready. And sing me the last chord with the le d at the end.
Can you see the D there? World. Uh, try it again. Think Kiwi. That's it. And be generous with it. Give it a little bit of length. I demonstrate. World. Uh, and. That's it. That's it. Okay, so it doesn't die that the D is alive. Great work.